student it is your mathematics class for class 9th this is your chapter number 1 number system this is your lecture 3 today we are going to start with your real number and their decimal expansions real number and their decimal expansions are basically two types first type when the remainder become zero so what do you mean by real number real number is the collection of all rational plus irrational numbers so decimal expansion of rational number is very easy we know uh, division process so we will go with the division process so the first case when the remainder become zero when the decimal expansion of a fraction terminates terminates matlab end or ends after a finite number of steps it means when the decimal expansion it means the division process of a fraction terminates means finished or ends after a finite number of steps we call the decimal expansion of such numbers as terminating we call them as terminating terms terminating numbers so first case was the remainder become zero what it, it was when the decimal expansion it means the division process of a fraction finished or terminates or end after a finite number of steps we call the decimal expansion of such numbers is terminating example example 7 upon 8 when we will divide 7 with 8 we will get our answer as 0.875 it means division process and after three definite number of steps and another example 1 upon 2 when i will start dividing 1 by 2 then i will get my answer 0.5 it also and after one step so these type of numbers we call them as terminating terms now the second part of decimal expansion is second part is when the remainder never become zero when the re remainder never become zero so what it is when the decimal expansion of a fraction not terminates so students when the decimal expansion it means division process of any fraction not terminates means not finish or end after some finite number of steps then we call the expansion as non terminating so what is your second case the remainder never become zero it means remainder should never equal to zero when the remain uh, decimal expansion of a fraction division process of a fraction not terminates means not finished or end after some finite number of step it means some number of step which we will count we call the expansion of such numbers as non terminating terms example if we will take 1 upon 3 it means 1 is divided with 3 then we will get our answer like this 0.3333 and so on it will never end it will never give us as a result zero so we called it as terminating term similarly when i will take one another example it is like 1 upon 7 then it shows result division uh, when we divide 1 with 7 then the result is 0.142857142857114 and so on it will never ends so these two cases which are the decimal expansion of a real number first when the remainder becomes zero it is terminating term when the remainder never becomes zero it is non terminating terms if you all were pay attention then you noticed that in my first example it is a only one digit which are repeating again and again but in the second number some pattern like 1 4 2 8 5 7 One four two eight five seven, and then again one four. It means in this term also, 
सम डिजिट्स आर रिपीटिंग अगेन एंड अगेन सो नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग टर्म्स आर टू टाइप वन विद द रिपीटिंग पैटर्न सेकेंड वन विद द नॉन रिपीटिंग पैटर्न लाइक इफ वी हैव एन क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री 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 एंड सो ऑन देन वी कॉल इट एज नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग बट रिपीटिंग नंबर we have some pattern also in the this example this is also the example of non terminating repeating terms because pattern is repeating here we can write like this 0.142857 bar bar means this block of a numbers all these digits are repeating again and again in the same pattern here we can write it as 0.3 bar non repeating terms are those term which are non terminating but non repeating so these numbers are like this 0.4172109 so on it means it does not attain any type of pattern different different types of digits at different different places they are becoming and going on so this is your decimal expansion with remainder 0 or without remainder 0 and we have two types of term terminating and non terminating and non terminating terms have two sub parts with repeating or non repeating so students conclusion is again are bases on the rational and irrational numbers so in these two uh, terms a rational number is either terminating or non terminating repeating terms and irrational number is non terminating non repeating terms now we can learn these two definition of rational and irrational numbers in the form of terminating and non terminating rational numbers are those numbers which we can uh, written in the form of p upon q where q is not equal to 0 p and q are the integers it is the basic uh, definition of rational numbers now the new definition of rational number is the decimal expansion of a rational number is either terminating or non terminating repeating moreover a rational number a number sorry a number whose decimal expansion is terminating or non terminating repeating is rational number so what is the definition of a rational number a rational a number whose decimal expansion is terminating and non terminating repeating is rational number and then what about non uh, irrational numbers are number whose decimal expansion a number whose decimal expansion is non terminating non repeating is called irrational number again a number whose decimal expansion is terminating and non terminating repeating is called rational whose decimal expansion is non terminating non repeating is called irrational now some of the students are thinking that terminating numbers are uh, it's okay because they are already present in a rational number like 7 upon 8 then what about like 1 upon 2 but what about uh, non terminating but repeating terms but they are uh, non terminating terms they are appearing like 6 6 6 6 6 and dash 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 then how we can say that they are rational numbers so our next topic is we will learn how we will change these type of numbers into a rational number so now we will learn how we will change a non terminating repeating number in our rational number so first example is 0.6 bar bar means this digit which is present under the bar is repeating again and again so the question is x is equal 0.6 bar then we will remove first step is we will remove bar it is 0.66 and dash 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 the one condition for uh, changing the question of these type into a rational number is that after the decimal on the right side of the decimal only number will be present which is present under the bar it should be compulsory that only those numbers which are present under the bar is present here if any number is present here which is without bar we should replace or we should shift to the left side of the decimal in this question only one digit is present which is present under the bar we will open the question 
now we will count how many digit is present under the bar only one digit is present under the bar so we will multiply those how many zeros one so we will multiply by 10 on the both side if we have two digits here we will multiply by 10 100 if we have three digits here then we will multiply with 1000 so only one digit multiply with 10 on the both side then 10x when we will multiply this number with 10 this decimal shift one place to the right side of the number so it become 10x equal 6.666 so on equation number 2 so subtract equation number 1 from equation number 2 then uh, we will subtract left hand side to the left hand side and right hand side from the right, right hand side 10x minus x and then 6.66 bar equ uh, bracket of uh, equation number second minus bracket of equation number one after decimal we have infinite number of six here same here we have infinite number of six here they will cancel out each other and six minus zero because when we will subtract uh, with the decimal we will subtract like this then they will be cancelled with each other and then 6. So 10x minus 1x, 9x, 6x x equal to 6 upon 9. x is equals to 2 upon 3. I will take another example 1.272727 and so on. It means 27. These digits are repeating again and again. So we will learn how we will solve this question. One more difference is there. In the previous question we have 0 on the left side but here we have 1. Our question is x equal 1.27 bar bar means this these two digits are repeating again and again so solve this question like this and then how many digit is present under the bar they are two so we should multiply with two num zeros so multiply equation number one by hundred on both side multiply with hundred when we will multiply hundred this number this decimal shift two digit from right side so 100x is equal 127.2727 and so on equation number second subtract equation number one from equation number second which is 100x minus x and then this bracket minus this bracket so again after decimal we have infinite number of step uh, number of uh, uh, digits they will cancel out each other and then 100 minus x 99x 127 which is present before the decimal here 1 is present before the decimal 127 minus 1 126 so this is your answer now I will take another one question which is a different example in this question we have only one digit which is present under the bar and one digit is present without bar so in previous question I already taught you then according to this question we don't uh, take these type of terms on the right side of the decimal we have to shift them to the left side of the decimal so in this x equal 0 0.47 bar first of all we have to shift that 4 to the left side of the decimal for that what we will do first of all we will count the number or the digit which is present without bar only one digit is present without bar so we should multiply with one number of zero to shift that number to the left side so we will first open this bracket and then we will multiply with one number of zero which is 10 10 x equal to when we will uh, multiply 10 this number uh, decimal shift from here to here so now the question is 4.777 and so on it means 10x is equals to 4.7 bar now some student will confuse at this moment then what is going on so now this is your first equation or not yes this is your equation number first this is uh, after multiplication most of the student uh, is thinking that in the previous question we got second equation but students here we make our question ready to solve so we will shift that number which is present without the bar shift to the left side so this is our equation number first this is your equation number first so students now so students now it is 
टेन एक्स इज इक्वल फोर पॉइंट सेवन सेवन एंड सो ऑन नाउ अगेन वी विल स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच वी लर्न फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी डिजिट इज प्रेजेंट अंडर द बार ओनली वन डिजिट इज प्रेजेंट अंडर द बार सो वी शुड मल्टीप्लाई विद टेन ऑन बोथ साइड इफ वी विल हैव टू डिजिट हेयर देन वट वी विल डू वी मल्टीप्लाई विद टेन If we will have three digit without bar, we will multiply with hundred, and the rest of the question we will go same with our previous question. So, multiply with ten of this equation. We have already ten here. Then it is hundred x. Then four seven, and this decimal is shift one place, and then forty seven point seven seven, and so on. And equation number one subtracted from equation number. So, hundred x minus ten x. Four seven point seven seven so on minus four point seven seven and so on so these infinite number of the step mul uh, minus each other and then it is ninety x is equal x is equal to forty three upon ninety so question I uh, this question finished this is your answer so today's homework is do questions of exercise one point three question number one two five so students now. solution of lecture 2 in lecture 2 we discuss about exercise 1.2 so i am going to discuss two questions from your exercise first question second part in that question we have to uh, give answers the statement is true or false in this question second statement is second statement is every point on the number line is in the form of root m where m is a natural number so our my answer is no on number line we can represent all positive and negative numbers we can represent root 1 root 2 root 5 root 5.5 but we cannot show a negative number after taking square root on a number line for example if we have root 5 then it become change into root 5 alter alter is a complex number which you will uh, study in your higher classes so in ninth you can't uh, uh, draw these type of numbers on a number line so answer is false second question of your exercise is are the square root of all positive integers irrational if not give example of square root of a number that is a rational number so square root of all positive integers are not irrational it may be rational or it may be irrational because if we will take an example of root 5 we know it very well that it is a irrational number if we will take an example of uh, root 2 root 3 and root 17 we know it very well they all are the positive integers and uh, square root of uh, their numbers are always irrational but if we will take a root 4 it is equal to 2 it is a rational number root 9 is equal to 3 it is also a rational number so square root of all positive integers are not irrational they may be rational they may be irrational so class thank you very much this is your today's lecture lecture number 3 with the solution of lecture number 2 hope you get this topic and try to practice from your ncert and get the concept thank you